three games this weekend. Uh, thankfully, we got early morning, 8 a.m. Thank the Lord. We have 8 noon and 8, so we're out of here early too uh, when it's time to go home. But love these fields. That running trail is so fantastic. Uh, it's nice and clean, I think, because it's we're a little bit north. You're north of Phoenix, and you're kind of out of the, the yuck. So uh, we'll see how this game goes, and then we'll go have some fun. That one going to fit, you think? Okay. You think that'll do? Yeah. That's perfect, see? Yeah. There you go. 54 bucks. So I know y'all are probably wondering... Why would they buy such a big to storage tote when they're in Phoenix and they have to fly back on an airplane? We'll see. It'd be kind of awkward to take it on the plane. It's kind of big. It's a big bucket. People are going to see you and wonder what you're doing. Yeah. So. Let's see if this fits. If not. Let's see. This should okay. fit. You should be good. We measured it out. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't fit. Squeeze, squeeze. Look at that. That is a perfect fit. We measured it out. That's a perfect fit. In case anyone is ever wondering if a 55 gallon storage tote from Home Depot fits inside a shower. At Doubletree? At Doubletree, it does. It does. You're just probably still wondering what's going on. Yeah. It's a nice bath, okay? They're, they have to take a required <laughs> ice bath and this is not a bath. Which hotels do not have bathtubs anymore, mm -hmm. I feel like. At least these hotels we've stayed at. And we have to get creative so we got creative thought about doing cryo gave her that option i said you go do cryo there's some cryotherapy places around which it's like 45 bucks a session we gotta do another one tomorrow it'll be 90 bucks that little tub was 50 bucks and then we're gonna return it you're just putting water in it you can return it you know <laughs> i've seen worse stuff returned to home depot personally so i don't know but it is lovely out it is 70 so i think we're gonna go by the pool and yeah. um yeah. Alright chill. And then we'll do she'll do the ice bath. <laughs> It'd be kinda of funny. Hello. Hello. It has been an absolute minute since I have been in a pool and it feels amazing right now. Like it finally warmed up, we're in the seventies and it feels so so good. But I was just thinking like, this is one of those things I was like so numb to. You took, you just took it for granted, like having a pool and just going in it whenever you want and you were just going in it to cool down and stuff. But now it's like living in Tennessee and you have seasons and it gets, it gets cold during the winter time, you know? And the last thing you're thinking about is a pool or something. But you keep thinking about those times that are ahead when the weather's gonna start to change. It's gonna warm up. Pool season comes, spring, summer, all of it. And then you start, then you like really enjoy a pool for what it's worth. You can really like cherish it and like appreciate it, you know? Cause I feel like you were so numb to it in California. You were so numb to the weather. You were so numb to, you didn't have seasons. You didn't have any of that kind of stuff to look forward to. And now coming here and vacationing, it's like, you appreciate it. You appreciate all of it. Maybe coming here and just like vacationing, like, you know, police helicopters flying over, like homeless people walking around. You just, you're grateful for what you have back home. You are grateful for what you have back home. This, oh, this feels so good right now. The cookies from Doubletree are amazing, but I feel like they've gotten smaller. Just like everything else in this world. Smaller, more expensive. Mm. So good though. You cannot say, I want to get burnt for prom 
I didn't say burnt. And then complained about being burnt for prom. I said tan. Girls. Girls. All right, now that she's nice and crispy from the sun, she gotta do an ice bath. That's gonna feel great. Mm -hmm. Feel great on a burn. Yeah. How can we get ice now? <laughs> Maybe we'll use that bag. That soccer mom down at the pool, she was using the trash can from the bathroom for their ice bucket for all oh, their trulies. No. <laughs> soccer moms are crazy, I'm telling you. When you get them on these trips, soccer moms like to do their thing. Yeah. And don't, don't anyone get in their way because they, they will not stop. Let me use this bag. Get that bag. Let me go home anyway. Let's see if we can go find some ice. This is a very big hotel. It's interesting because I wonder if it was something before the hotel because it's just an awkward shape and an awkward build, but I don't know, maybe not. It's just it's easy to get lost. Huh. Nice. Two. Nothing. Empty. So, no, level two is out of service. Great. Number three. That will work? Oh, that will work. Yeah. All right. We got ice. She gave me a scooper. How nice. Seriously, what if this bag rips? This is gonna be a problem. It's already tearing. Oh my. It's already tearing. This is gonna be so embarrassing if this rips right now. In the elevator, I drop all this ice. The bag is ripping. Oh, oh we made it. Alright. So. I'm just gonna aim that. Alright. Good start. That's good, that's good. And the filler. Yeah. Do not spill the ice. I slaved to get the ice. That looks so cold. Sight? That's nothing. Just plug for another bag. Yeah, that ice is almost already gone. Oh, yeah, it is. That's. This should be good. You're wearing socks. You've never taken an ice bath. Or taking one of these ice baths. I've taken an ice know, bath. I've not like, taken it in a bucket in a I was, hotel. Yeah, exactly. So you can't talk. So you're wearing socks. Because I don't want my toes to get cold. Because you don't want your toes to get cold. Okay. I'm just going to keep trying my feet to, above the water. I'm trying to process. You're going to keep your feet above the water? Just like the toes. Just the toes. So you're not going to get them wet? No. The, the socks will just make them warmer. So you're... <laughs> Never mind. All right, was it that bad? No. No, you're good. How are your feet? You good? It's cold. Cold, of course. So now we got to figure out how we're going to dump this. Because it fits in there just right. And there's no easy way to, to empty it. Look at you see the cold line. That's good. She did good. You don't get a bathtub. There's your solution. Just try this one. Yeah. No, 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 What an idiot. Do you think that's gonna help it? No. Get towels. <laughs> it's blocking the drain. <laughs> I can't help it. Where's the drain? 
draining. No. <laughs> This is not at all embarrassing. It's not draining. It's like coming back up. Okay, this this did not work. Yeah, it is. It's draining. No, it is. Yeah, but because <laughs> half of it's on the floor. <laughs> Can I just use this towel and we get a new one? Yeah, just use whatever. We're going to have to clean up the flood. <laughs> that did not work. We may have. Like I thought it would. Look, it's not like draining at all. Well, give her a second. Like we really should have just kept the water in here for tomorrow. We have to shower. Well, I know. Okay. That nightmare's over. <laughs> I hope the people next to us know the <laughs> food. Why? What's going on? What's happening? It's a good thing they don't do like housekeeping anymore in these places because the housekeeper will come in and be like, why is there a bucket in this room? <laughs> All right, that didn't go as planned, but we're good. I think we're gonna call it a night. She's already sound asleep. I am just going to go ahead and finish watching Ryan Hall, y'all. It's a crazy breakout with the tornadoes and everything going on, 160 plus tornado warnings. Uh, 60 some odd tornadoes they're saying have touched down and there's fatalities and everything else so I'm gonna wrap this up and hopefully this breaks up by the time it gets to East Tennessee for Babs and them but uh, it's been a long night so that is it from where are we at? Oh, Arizona right? Different Phoenix <laughs>